MoTeC Mobile Vicinity Scout Step-by-Step -step Calibration The MoTeC Mobile Vicinity Scout, or MVS, is a camera system developed especially for commercial vehicles. Four cameras generate a seamless 360-degree panoramic view around your vehicle. The 270-degree version is made for special vehicles and uses three cameras, surveying the rear or front of the vehicle. In this video, we explain to you how the MVS system can be calibrated within a few minutes. Before starting the calibration, park the vehicle on even ground, leaving a free space of 3 meters around the vehicle. Close all the doors and fold in the mirrors. In addition to the eight markers which are supplied, you just need a tape measure in order to measure the vehicle. First, lay out the markers. Start with marker zero at the vehicle's left rear end. The markers with an edge length of one meter are placed at a distance of one meter to one another. Place the markers with an edge length of 1.5 meters directly against each other. The remaining seven markers should be placed in the exact order as indicated. How the markers are aligned is irrelevant. Make sure that the markers are placed flat on the ground and as close to the vehicle or to its add-on parts as possible. Furthermore, the markers must be aligned parallel with the vehicle. If you're using the 360 degree system, the markers are placed at the outer edges of the vehicle. Next, measure the distances between the inner edges of the markers. When using the 270 degree system, lay the opposing markers out within the length of the vehicle. To measure the 270 degree systems, proceed as shown on the screen. Subsequently, use your visual judgment to align the cameras. They should be pointing approximately at the center between the markers. Make sure that doors, flaps or other parts don't obscure the view of the camera. Now connect the operating module to the CAN2 of the video control unit and start the power supply. Press the F1 function key to access the user interface. Use the arrow keys and the enter button to control the menu. Select settings, range and car and enter the width and length of the vehicle you've measured before. To do so, use the arrow keys to select the applicable slider and set it to the value you've measured previously. Use the same procedure to set the calibration range. In most cases, this is 3 meters around the vehicle. If you mark the checkbox Link Sliders, the values are changed proportionally and simultaneously. When clicking Apply, the values are accepted. Clicking the Back button takes you back to the menu. Select the Tag menu item and set the distance and size of the marker. Confirm your settings by activating Apply and Back. By pressing the left arrow key and enter, you'll be taken back to the settings menu. Now select representation and blending zones. For a realistic display of the surrounding areas, the blending tile mix special is pre-selected for all of the blending zones. This setting is suitable for most requirements. Furthermore, for each of the four blending zones, you can select the blending of your choice. When working with the 270 degree system, use the camera arrangement menu item to specify whether you'd like to deactivate the front or rear camera. Use the image format menu item to select full screen for a full screen view of your vehicle or undistorted for displaying exact proportions. You've now successfully set up the system in order to start the calibration. To do so, switch from the representation menu to the calibration menu and select semi-automatic. Please check all the views of each individual camera again. Ensure that all the markers are positioned correctly and are easy to recognize by the cameras. Select all cameras to start the calibration. A status bar indicates the progress of the calibration. 
If green fields are shown for each camera, the calibration was successful and you can press OK to confirm. If yellow or red fields are displayed, this indicates that not all the markers were detected properly. Verify the arrangement of the markers and the alignment of the cameras again. Add-on parts, open doors or strong reflections can complicate the calibration process. Repeat the semi-automatic calibration again for all the cameras or calibrate each camera individually. If yellow or red fields are displayed again, a manual calibration may be helpful. To do this, please follow the instructions in the manual. Now all the cameras are successfully calibrated. Before using the system, make sure that all the settings are saved by selecting Save in the menu. Finally, you can switch to the live image by pressing F3 and remove the control unit. Your MVS system is now ready for use. MoTeC hopes you enjoy the new system and wishes you a safe journey. MoTeC Mobile Vicinity Scout. Protecting lives, helping people and saving money.